I'm often asked from prospective SOLIDWORKS customers, what's it going to cost to convert our 3D legacy data to SOLIDWORKS? The answer to that question is 3D Interconnect technology new in SOLIDWORKS 2017. 3D Interconnect references legacy data instead of importing it. Since the legacy data is referenced, any changes made to the original legacy data are immediately reflected in SOLIDWORKS. And any SOLIDWORKS features added to the original legacy data are updated accurately also. This method of referencing 3D legacy data saves time and effort because there's no need to import the legacy data and subsequently no need to repair it when errors occur. So let's take a look at how 3D Interconnect works. Opening legacy data in SOLIDWORKS is straightforward. A simple file open and from there SOLIDWORKS processes the data and displays it in short order. With 3D Interconnect the original colors, file names and assembly structure are maintained. Any of the subassemblies or components can be saved to SOLIDWORKS files when needed. So, as you can see here, your 3D legacy data is preserved and useful for future design iterations with SOLIDWORKS. Now, to contrast what we're able to do in SOLIDWORKS 2017 with 3D Interconnect, let's use SOLIDWORKS 2016 to open the same legacy data. In this case, the legacy data is being imported and converted to SOLIDWORKS data and takes a bit longer to process. Now you can see here there are a number of problems after importation. Some of the parts are missing and some have serious geometry issues. In this case, the importation process rendered the legacy data to a near useless state. As we saw, 3D legacy data was referenced in SOLIDWORKS. It was preserved and unchanged from its original format. 3D Interconnect eliminates the overhead associated with exporting and importing legacy data. Removing concerns about your legacy data allows you to focus on designing with SOLIDWORKS and not dealing with legacy data issues. Please contact your local SOLIDWORKS reseller or go to my.solidworks.com for a deeper dive into 3D Interconnect and how it will work with your legacy data.